Okay, hello, am I live now? What is happening? There it is. Oh my god, dude. I went live and just nothing happened. Like, it, it is, OBS was like, yeah, you're live, you're doing it. And then just, I guess it didn't work. What, what is happening? This is completely silly. Uh, I don't know what's going on, man. Going through your old Breath of Fire. Breath of the Wild videos. I read that as Breath of Fire. Twitch is dying. Dude, F. Stuff you never posted because no Twitter. Nice. Now you can post it. Um, I don't know what to do. Like, I might just do CDDA because I know that works and my computer is being really weird. So, we could just play some CDDA for tonight and then go back to, like, Dwarf Fortress and stuff later. Or, you know what, let, but I kind of, I do want to, like, try Terraria. Twitch is hitting the shitter at the moment. Oh, is it Twitch and not just me? Um, okay. Also, I realized that maybe uh, somebody in my house could be watching Netflix and screwing up the internet connection. Uh, because I know Netflix is really greedy with, uh, with, like, bandwidth and everything. So, I don't know. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully it stays stable and we're okay now. Um, so we, we could do Terraria. I don't know if I have a ton of mods set up or not. Already. I remember we were doing the like randomizer mod or whatever that one time. Where it just made the world all fucked up. Okay, is it gonna launch? A whoa? Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, also, Terraria just, like, is not launching the game. What the heck? What's going on here? Okay, maybe we're not playing Terraria either. Either that or it's just taking forever to load. This is weird. I don't know what's happening with my computer today. There it goes. Um, I've got the graphics got all screwed up and the resolution is, is borked. Um... by 1080. Okay, so I don't have any mods downloaded. You hear it, but do you not see it? Yeah, I don't have it uh, visible yet. I don't, like... I don't know. Do you guys want to do, like, a vanilla playthrough thing, or should we do it with mods or something? Um... Let me see. I think I should have, like, a Terraria thing set up. Terraria. Visible now. There it goes. Alright, so so we can do this. Um we could also just download some mods and uh like we could get Cataclysm or whatever that mod is, because I haven't really played through that one before. Uh like on its own. Let me see. I need to change to uh Terraria category. Cataclysm stinky. Thorium better. Is it? I don't know. I've never done it. Like, I've always had Cataclysm, uh, but I've never, like, played through the mod or anything. Alright, let's see. Category is Terraria. Alright. You prefer Thorium? It feels better. Interesting. Uh, the mod browser encountered an error. Okay, cool. I guess, uh, I might need to update my mod loader thing, unless that was just the first time and now it's gonna work. Um, I don't think it's gonna work. I think my mod thing is broken. I don't I don't know what's happening. Yeah, so I think it's too old, probably. No mods. Yeah, I might I think I have to. Uh let's turn off the randomizer though. Let's just switch to vanilla mode. Wait, what? Okay, now. <laughs> Alright, we'll just disable it, reload mods. You have so many videos of you in Breath of the Wild refusing to do shrines the intended way. Nice. You wanna join? Uh I don't know what you have to to do um i don't have any ip port forwarding stuff set up so uh that's another thing i was thinking about is like i was gonna play some terraria and just set up a server where we could all play on it but 
I don't have my my IP address stuff done. It has to be done over Steam, if not with IPs. Yeah, so I would want to set it up like an actual server and everything with like the IP address and all that ready to go, so that way you guys could just join and uh, we could all fuck around. Um, but I guess I guess we're just gonna play single player. Oh yeah, here's our character from the randomizer thing. All right, let's make a new character. Um. It has to be, uh, you got an idea? What's the idea? Get the seed? For the, for the server? Or for the, for this? Is that what you mean? Can you actually make a world with a seed? Is that a, is that an option? Yeah, there haven't been seeds in ages. I don't remember that being a thing. Uh. Or at least, like, in the UI, like, maybe there's something you could do for seeds. Think it did in the really early early versions? Yeah, it might have. But not anymore. That's fair. Alright, who are we gonna be? Uh we're gonna be. You've not played in like four years, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be, uh... I kinda wanted the, one of the ones with the afro, but whatever. We can just change it ourselves. Duh. Which hair is the afro? There we go. Alright, we're gonna be this guy. Make a bearded man. I guess we could, but you can't pick your hairstyle and beard separate. And I want the afro, because I think the afro is, is, is cool. It's the afro. Uh, maybe. Uh, so what are we, what are we gonna name our character? Uh... Maylindolf. Alright. Stinky. <laughs> Stiginky. There you go. That's his last name. His first and last name. Oh yeah, it's not. There's no R there. Whoops. Uh, yeah. Let's get. We don't need our randomizer world in the test world anymore. I should probably delete the other characters too. Uh, so let's go. What extra large? Extra thick? Huge? All right. Yeah. Let's go extra large. Let's go expert because we're pro gamers. Um, and, uh, uh-oh, oopie. Hey, what hell? Oh, too late. <laughs> I figured because his last name is Stinky, we go, uh-oh, poopy, and then there you go, it's, the, it's part, of the, part of the meme. We got Crimson. I'm fine with Crimson. I usually, I actually almost always go, like, pick, uh, or try to go with a world that has corruption, because I like corruption, but... Uh, I haven't done Crimson in a while, so we'll we'll do Crimson. Yeah, I kind of prefer Corruption myself. I like I like fighting the Corruption boss better, but I mean Crimson's cool, and I haven't done it in a while, so might as well. Oh my God, I just skipped some frames again. Jesus, what's happening? Uh, although this one's probably because I'm generating the world, I think. So, uh, <laughs> this hopefully that's all it is, and I stop freaking. Frame, dropping frames and stuff. Lag! No! Eater is a more fun fight and the musket is better than the pistol, yeah. Alright, well it's fine. Hopefully when the world generates, we'll be okay. Now, so this lag could also be the, uh, the, the Netflix thing. Which, it, it's either Netflix or it's Twitch. I don't know what's happening. This is very unfortunate. Too many people stayed home because of, uh, COVID and Twitch's servers are just crashing. Maybe that's the problem. Since the buff, the musket is super good. Oh, the musket got buffed? I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, my, my bitrate on my end, or not my bitrate, but my, like, uh, kilobits per second or whatever that OBS is showing is, like, it's been what it's been. It's just, like, the red bars on the left are, or the bars on the left that, like, indicate my general connection are dying. So, yeah, I think, I think this is on Twitch's end, but I don't know. 
highly unfortunate, and I'm sorry that you guys have to deal with that. I, per, I, I know I hate it, like, when stuff starts lagging and, and cutting out and shit. Like, that's never fun. But, uh, yeah. The pistol never got a buff that good? Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Maybe we could buy the musket or something from uh, Gunman. I don't know if that's a thing. Yep, skip frames detected. 73%! Holy shit. What is going on? Are you guys still alive out there? What's happening? Unreleased, it dealt 14 damage. Is it is it more than that now? I did I thought it was still that bad. And like still at 14 damage. <laughs> One of my friends on Steam is named Money Printer Go Brr. <laughs> Holy shit. Over time it got buffed to 20, then 23, then 25, and finally 31? Holy shit. That's a huge that's that's over double damage. That's crazy. Yeah, so unfortunately this world's gonna take a while to generate, but uh it it should be done pretty soon. <laughs> Just loading bars, that's the stream. Loading bars and lag. Smoothing the brain. The Undertaker all has always dealt 15. Yeah, what the hell? I mean, I get that the Undertaker shoots faster, so maybe their DPS is the same, but I don't know. I doubt it with 31 damage on the musket. The musket is pretty slow, though. So you'd have to you'd have to calculate out the DPS or whatever with the, uh, the item that lets you see that. Current use time is lower, but it's not enough to match the musket. Okay, the musket is higher DPS. Yeah. Right. They should they should just up the fire speed of the pistol. Most of your Breath of the Wild videos are from where you didn't know how to record videos, and they're like five to nine seconds long. Nice. And the musket does look cooler. That's a good point. Alright, so there we go. The generation is happening. Uh, skipped frames are also happening. I don't know what's going on anymore. But when the world's done generating, we shouldn't have to... Like, at least on my end, it, it my, my CPU and everything will be fine. We won't have to deal with it skipping frames and stuff anymore. Uh, so we'll have to see how it goes... Because you guys are saying it's Twitch, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's me. I guess it depends on if other streamers are also experiencing these issues, like, at the same time. Then, yeah, it's probably Twitch in that case. Twitch is horrible all day? Damn. That sucks. 3136 versus, yeah, 1523. Right, so yeah, that's not even... Uh, one use time is one second. Yeah, so, um, it would have to be half the use time in order to be the same, like, it would have to be, fif like, 15 or 14 use time. Or actually, 13. Or, no, 18. Yeah, 18 is half of 36. I can do math, I promise. So, yeah, they'd have to, they need, they should just buff the use time down to 18 for the pistol. I mean, might as well, right? That way you have... Either high damage, low fire rate, or low damage, high fire rate, and you get to you get your option there. But I guess they didn't really think about it, did they? Let's let's hope that when the world's done generating, uh, Twitch doesn't cause too many issues, and we can have a smooth viewing experience. There you go, extra large world, extra large. If they made a change like that, you'd still use the musket. Right, right. Yeah, it's the musket is more ammo efficient, so that's that there you go. That's the main upside to that one. Um And here we are. In our extra large world. How loud is this? This is really loud, right? Uh, 
Uh, okay. I don't think I want it to pause when I'm when I'm in my menu. I only did that for the uh, for the randomizer thing. There we go. If they made a challenge change like yeah, early on when you don't want to be spending money. Yep, yep, yep. All right, cool. The guide can go shoot a slime for us. Good job, dude. All right, so, uh, step one. I mean, we should probably make a house or something for the guide to be in, but uh, I think we should uh, we should just go off and, and, and do our thing. Do I still have the modded tag on this? Because we're just playing vanilla. There we go. Um, start of a vanilla playthrough. I'll actually give it a name instead of just something. <laughs> There's something else. Worst part about this game is how slow you are to start. I mean, it's not that bad, right? Like, it, I guess it can be kind of painful when you when you just you're like, I know it's in game and I want to get to end game and do that stuff. But it's not so bad. Um, all right, so here's what we got to do, right? We look for some chests on the surface, like that guy. It is that bad. <laughs> No, it's okay. It's it's all right, right? Uh, we'll get the we'll get some chests, and then we'll just immediately go underground, and uh, we'll we'll try to get some good materials. Then we go fight the corruption boss to get the uh, the dark pickaxe or the crimson pickaxe. And then once we have that, we can go to hell, and then we can we can fight the hell boss. Use the specter boots and wings. Okay, you mean like move speed and stuff too? Yeah. Oh, another one. Got a boomerang. Better than the short sword, I would say. Make dwarf fort in Terraria. There you go. And we have some uh, recall potions, so we're good to just, like, check this out. We got here, another boomerang. Don't really want it. You can hold shift. Oh. Okay, that's right. I totally forgot about that uh, shortcut. There's some webbing so we can actually make a bed. That would be useful. Okay. Use pickaxe uh, or use it. Oh, if you hover over a block, you'll switch to pickaxe. Got it. Okay, there's a heart crystal. That's good. I just wish I had the vein mining mod that uh, somebody made. That mod is so handy. Just like in Minecraft, it's so nice to be able to mine the whole little chunk of ore at the same time. Here, dude. There's a wait, where'd that other slime come from? They're ganging up on me. So how's the music and sound effects now? Are they a bit quiet, I think? Maybe turned them down too low. Let me uh let me fix this. A bit quiet. Okay, so now, yeah, that, sh that looks pretty good in terms of audio levels. It may be a little bit loud, but I think that's better. One mod you fall in love with, the Fargo Soul mod. You know, I've actually seen uh, somebody on YouTube that was playing with that mod, um, and I've, I've only barely used it myself. Uh, we'll turn up the music and leave the sound a little bit lower. The sound effects are kind of loud. It's interesting. It seemed cool. Uh, it definitely looked like it had a, a lot of neat stuff in it to do. Out of 
your slime. Okay. Uh, we got some, like, tin there, but I don't want that. I do want a little bit of iron. The extra hard mode is hell. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there's some gems. Slime split into smaller slimes and you kill them. That sounds cool. That'd be fun to play through. Uh, the, the extra hard mode, even though I'm not that good at Terraria anymore. Brr! <laughs> the money printer is melting? Uh-oh. Dude, slime printer go burr. Make the server modded and make it extra hard. Yeah. Honestly, that would be, I want to do a modded server thing uh, when we whenever we do that, and uh, we'll probably do like the soul mod and do the extra hard mode. Okay, there's a boulder. Be careful of that one. Yeah, I did it. Oh, there's a heart statue in here. Hell yeah, those are great to have. How did you make it up here? Get what do we got? A oh, flare gun. That's lame. I really want double jump or something. There's more silver down this way. Or tungsten, rather. Masochist only. The flare gun is good. I never really use it. I mean, is it that good? I typically just let it languish in a chest somewhere and completely forget about it. Yeah, I guess that's fair. New world is the stimulus. New word is the stimulus would be six trillion. Jesus. We don't even have that much money. Like, what are. Are they just gonna stop? Paying for stuff in in the public sector and just start dumping it all into the stimulus thing. The money printer is melting. Yeah, that's insane. That's so much money. All right, so this is kind of a dead end. I was hoping we could keep having a, a natural cave that goes down. I think I may just be off where it it might still keep going if we go back. US government is putting Wall Street in debt. Oh no. How's that gonna work? More debt, yeah. Extra debt. My favorite. Just pick these up. Yeah, if we keep going this way, I think the uh, the cave will keep going. Thick debt, dude. This debt is dummy thick. <laughs> Damn. How many waste of points for you to set up a modded server? <laughs> well, th see, that's setting up the server is a plan. Oh my god, waste of points. Oh Jesus. Uh, the the plan is to set up a server at some point and most likely do modded because I I like playing through modded. I haven't done vanilla in a while, so it's cool to play some vanilla, but yeah, I'd, I'd be down to set that up. Uh, the only downside to it is how I'm going to host it. It might just have to be up when... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can leave the server up when like I'm not around and things like that. Give DF. Dude, we're going to play DF tomorrow. How many to accelerate it? Well, I don't know. I need to look into... Uh, exactly how I'm going to host it and everything. Um, no. Not like this. Game? Hello? Okay. It just ground to a halt for like five seconds. I, I don't know what's going on. Today is not a good day computer-wise. At least the skip frames have calmed down. It says nothing skipped in the last eight minutes, so... Uh, we've been okay, I think. 
Start a free account of AWS, install Linux on a VM, and host it there. Well, it's not about... I don't know, it's about, like, if I can leave my computer running and stuff. I kind of don't want to do that, so... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just have the server up when the stream's up. Um, and then, like, the server will just go down. And I can just host it like that. People are gonna get free burn debuff. Oh, I didn't know about that. That's a good point. I guess that's something to keep in mind. Shurikens. Got anything interesting down here yet? Really? Far away from it being public. The malaria drug they found fights it works. Yeah, yeah, they still like there's still a long period of testing and and all that. So we're not gonna see a very good COVID drug uh, for probably a while. Folks, going back to work would be bad. I mean, yeah, it would. It's gonna take a while before people can go back to work, or at least it should. Um, some states might end up being like, yeah, who cares, and just sending people back to work and making it worse, but, um, you know. Heard they told the FDA to fast-track it to the open public testing, as it's a 50-year-old drug that is well-known. Um, I mean, maybe, if they already have it well-tested and everything, then it, it can probably go out sooner. Since they've already tested all the side effects and stuff, and it's th that stuff's already known. Um, it's just the same drug, so it's just greenlighting them to prescribe it for people with COVID. So they have to test it on COVID patients now to see how it reacts with that virus. Which, you know, to be fair, it may re react completely differently. And uh, there could be all sorts of new side effects that don't show up unless you have COVID. So, I don't know. Florida's more hell than usual. Oh, because they just said screw it and sent people back to work and stuff anyways. Is this a... What is this? Oh. Okay, I guess it's nothing. Florida's a silly place. I have a friend that lives out in Florida. And he says he's planning to move away. <laughs> he doesn't like it there. If you have COVID and Cigna waiver, they will give it to you, is what you heard. Interesting. Use the flare gun, they work underwater. Oh. Good point. I don't have a, uh... Oh my god, there's gold down there. Alright, hold on. I don't have a hookshot, so it's gonna be hard to, uh, breathe. But, let's try to get down to the gold, and, uh, make ourselves somewhere to breathe, like, over here. There we go. We can put this, uh, put the rope. All right. Now we're good. Holding shift outside of your torch range lets you shoot it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. We're talking about chloroquine. You should look at the side effect. True, better than death, but not, not a fun ride. Oh. Jesus. I need to make this, uh, one... Yeah, here we go. Alright. Now we can get this gold, and after this we'll probably just go home. Unless this cave opens up some more. We really need to get that, uh, hook shot. Nasty med or death. Well, depends on how bad the side effects are, really, but, yeah, I guess really not dying is better. We have a little square for breathing. Oh, is that a skeleton? All right, we need to go kill the skeletons because, uh, hook shot. Oops. All right, let's get up here. Um... 
the rope, build ourselves a little platform. Alright, come back. <laughs> Dead dwarf. Suicidal thoughts and nerve damage in very rare cases are the side effects. Throw the boomerang through hole. That doesn't work. It's too tiny of a hole. I guess I can make the hole bigger, but might as well just go out there and fight him at that point. Oh yeah, they have more health on uh, on expert mode, don't they? I don't remember skeletons having 132 health. Okay, no hook, but there are some gems here. We might have enough to make a hook shot. If there's, I think it's 15. Side effects which include heart and nerve damage are well understood and given the current circumstances manageable. That's that is true. Those aren't those aren't terribly bad. You you can manage those side effects. Um, somebody with asthma who's taking care of an older relative, you just want everything to be extra cautious. Yeah, for sure. Stay safe, man. You guys should be okay. As, you know, as long as you just do the do the cold quarantine stuff and. If you go out, like, make sure to either use a mask or something, or just stay really far away from everyone. Um, should be okay. What are we doing on gemstones? We have 13. If we find some more topaz, we could make a hook. Unless it's 10, and then we're good. The hook shot will help a lot. Alright, yeah. Let's, let's get out of here. And then we can take this opportunity to build our house. Yeah, it's 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 rough uh, trying to deal with all this stuff. Hopefully everything's just good, and we can uh, you know in a few months we can move on from it and finally have it under control and everything. You need 15? Oh shit! Dude, we're so short. Just, we're, we're we're almost there. It's like infuriating. We have two topazes we needed. Um. Okay, so we need. Uh, Dig out the floor. Alright, Zach, you gotta move. You gotta move, man. The shipyard's closed, you got a family to support? Yeah, it's like, what the hell? And it, it sucks too, because maybe you won't, because we're going into a recession and stuff. Like, you might get stuck, you know, without a job, which would be awful. Uh, but I think there's, you know, like that's a very real possibility. Because if we start going into a depression or a recession, people are just going to get laid off and not have as much job opportunities after that. Yeah, right now you're getting paid time off, which is fantastic, but, uh, you know, who knows how long that's going to last and everything. Let's get rid of these zombies. Out of here. That guy. Okay. We have a door. Where you live, they're forcing the social distances. Distancing. You made your grocery your grocery today, and everyone was three meters apart. And in line, we had to mark on the floor to keep distance. That's crazy. I mean, it's good though that they're that they're giving you marks on the floor and stuff to help, but yeah, it's definitely very surreal uh, with stuff like that. All right, so simple simple house, nothing too fancy yet. Um, the campfire on the roof. You mean if? Okay, well, when we go into the depression, because we're gonna go into one. Um, there's going to be a lot of people without jobs, and there's going to be less jobs as time goes on, as it just keeps shrinking. Fucking guide is just flipping back and forth. <laughs> there's going to be a pretty bad one, not even because of COVID, but Russia as well. Oh, yeah. It, hasn't Russia been doing some silly stuff with, like, oil and everything? And kind of screwing over the global economy, just in general? Alright, we at least found enough gold for a pickaxe, which I'm happy about. Uh, cause this can mine meteorite, so if we go get a meteor to fall, we can get our, uh, meteor armor pretty easily. Um. 
And we have a chest, even, so we can plop this thing down and just kind of deposit everything. At best, a recession. At worst, depression. Yeah, something like that. Oh, Saudi versus Russia oil war. Oh, jeez. That's pretty rough. Uh, let's put this potion away. I don't need a builder potion. I will keep the recall potions on hand. Uh, the shurikens, I guess, I'll keep on hand. I need to go get that. Let's get another door. Um, let's also put a chair in here so the, the guide can live in this house. We need to build the background. I, I mean, hopefully we'd have a swift recovery, but I highly doubt the U.S. is going to be able to pull a swift recovery from this. Um, I mean, it would be great. I, that's, I wish that, you know, that's what I'm hoping for to happen, but I, am, I personally am not very confident in the country's ability to pull out from it. Uh, but we'll see, you know. Hopefully I'm proven wrong and uh, we sort things out pretty quick. But, well, you got to look at it like, look at the bill they're trying to pass right now. Um to help people out with COVID and how both the Republicans and the Democrats are using this as an opportunity to push legislation they've been wanting to pass, and they're using the, uh, the help people out bill. Another game you got 400 hours in? Yeah, I have like 1600 in this game. It's so silly. I played this a ton back in the day when it was like first coming out. Uh, it's a, it's a great game though. I, I like this game a lot. But yeah, it's, things are rough. Thing, things are gonna be rough. It's gonna take some time. Um, but we'll just, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, at this point, we could dig a, uh, a elevator or something, right? We don't have a hookshot yet, but I think we'll get one eventually. We're just shy of a thousand. Nice. This game's great. Oh yeah, we can't we can't get back out. I mean, we can always recall potions, so uh, we just can't come back down here until we find that hook. So I guess we'll, we just gotta make sure that when we go down this time, we need to get a hook or some more topaz. Your father thinks they're gonna push for a 60-day social distancing period. They probably should. I mean, social distancing, we should keep practicing that until we're very certain we have the disease under control. Um, the, the whole quarantine thing, I don't know how long we should do that for, but we should definitely try to do social distancing as much as possible for now. Um, I've been buying some stocks in the meantime. Uh, you should be careful about buying stocks until we've actually hit the bottom, because, right, Victorian, if you buy stocks now, um, then you're gonna have to, like, and we keep dropping, um, you're gonna have to wait a really long time for those to come back up, because it's gonna keep dropping before it starts recovering. Uh, and we're not gonna, we're not gonna, our, the stock prices and everything are not gonna recover anytime soon. I would say it's a bad idea to buy right now, in terms of, uh, the stock market. Because you, you don't know how much further the floor is going to get. These are penny stocks. I mean, I guess, but hey, you know, might as well make as much money as possible. I don't know. I guess. I mean, that's that's fine. Yeah, and then there's also the dead cat bounce. Yeah, if they're penny stocks, that's that's not bad. Um, as long as you're not spending too much money on it and everything, that's that's okay. But uh, yeah, if you're if you start buying into normal stocks and and standard stuff, definitely be it's not a good time for that. I would say. No, I'm gonna blow thousands, dude. You gotta Wall Street bets. You gotta you gotta go full Wall Street bets on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know, you know, I think, honestly, it's not really that risky. As long as you're buying options in terms of everything being worth less in the future, because everything's just gonna keep going down. Um, but because of that reason, like, those options are very expensive now. Uh, still no clue why exactly somebody is willing to pay money if you guess that a stock is gonna drop in the future, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever the stock market wants to do, I guess. It can, it can just keep doing. <laughs> One day I'll learn exactly what fucking why options exist for. Yeah, I think that stock is gonna drop in price, so give me money if it does, and then they say okay. <laughs> oh my god. Where did you even come from? Super rude.
He fell in. Well, yeah, but... I guess I was still close enough to the, uh... Is this lined up right? No. It's off. Right? Oh, maybe it was. I don't know. This is so hard to tell. I think this is lined up. Alright, so there's another crimson altar over there. It was right? Yeah. Okay. I'm good now. Fx. I should make some more torches. I don't have all that much slime, but... Oh well. Shoot a flare to light the way. I, well, I want to light up the whole tunnel anyways. So I, I'm going to put the torches down because I want it to stay lit when I'm falling so I can see what's happening. And then later on when we activate hard mode and I have torches along the, the, the hallway, we can kind of see if there's any ores in the wall to grab. I'm going to get tungsten because it makes some decent armor. Although once we get like shadow armor or crimson armor, I guess it's not a big deal. But I kind of like making silver armor to start with. It's not too hard to get a, get some tungsten or silver together. And uh, it gives you some okay defense. There's not really much else to do with silver. Cats on your lap? Well, now you can't get up anymore. You're gonna have to sit there. Making metal armor. Well, what, what am I supposed to do? He's a chonky boy? Yeah, my cat's really fat too. I adopted a, uh, a really fat cat from, like, my cousin, because I couldn't keep him anymore. Not wear armor until you get something that's, that'll become... Uh, but it helps. Sad face. You should speed around the bosses. Yeah. I mean, that's probably a better idea in the long run. But it's not like it matters, right? Like, silver's not that necessary or anything. I don't know. That's my thought process behind it. Oh, shit. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I guess I could put some water in the bottom of this, and uh, then we could actually get down here without a hookshot. Was oh, that a heart crystal? Oh, damn. I didn't even see that. Not calling your cat a heckin' chonker. Damn it. Dude, Reddit speak XD. webs or ropes. Oh yeah, I could put a rope down too. That's a good idea. Reddit be like, haha, chunk or cat, please, like, please help me, I'm done. <laughs> oh no. Thing over here. Nope. Server armor gives 13. Every hit reduce, reduces damage by whopping 8 points in expert mode. Yeah, I mean, that's 9 points of damage you're not taking. That's, I, you know, that's better than 0, right? My legs don't hold my weight anymore. Please, end. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we're, like, portioning out his food and everything uh, to see if we can help him not be fat anymore. But it's it's kind of hard to, like, get a cat to lose weight um, without making them, like, malnourished and everything. You gotta be really careful with it. I'm gonna remember. 
Because if you just try to cut down their food, it, like, too much, then you can, you can, like, starve them, basically. They're bastards, and I love them dearly. There you go. But 75 bars, it's not worth the investment. Yeah, I guess. Okay, how about I just make, like, a silver chest plate or something? Because I'm gonna- I'm probably gonna die to the boss a lot. I- I don't really know how to fight him that effectively. The- the big brain thing. There we go. It'd be nice to find a mushroom biome thing for those, uh, the glowy mushrooms. So good to have. Uh... Like, what's a good arena type for him? I mean, I feel like just having some platforms to go up and down between would be good. Yo-yos are good against him? Okay. I do like yo-yos, so I'll try to get one of those or something. National Guard set up a testing site in the city next to us. Big convoy was cool to watch. Nice. At least you got something to do. Magic is good? Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, magic's kind of OP. <laughs> magic's almost always the best option. I feel like. Except for, uh, the Daedalus bow, Storm Bow or something like that. Uh, that one's a super good weapon as well. The Wooden Yo-Yo is the only one you can get for a while. Oof. That's not- wait, can't we get one underground from, like, skeletons or something? Can get a counterweight in the long string, yeah. Daedalus Storm Bow's hilarious. It's such a ridiculously good weapon. It's a, yeah, but it is a rare draw. Oh, the the yo-yo I'm talking about? Is that one also a rare? You've never liked them? Dude, I love yo-yos. They're so much fun. Maybe we'll do a yo-yo character. How about that? We'll, we'll try to get all the accessories and stuff, and, and we'll do yo-yos. I like yo-yos. Alright, we need to get... Let me get this water out of here. some out there. And let's out there. 3.9% uh, from Skelly for Rally. Rally is good, though. Uh, oh, yeah, and then we could also get a yo-yo from the brain. Yeah, that's true. Shelly, Crawdad, Salamander. There you go. Yeah, let's do yo-yos. I, I haven't done a yo-yo character in a while. I, I like using them. Let's, uh, seal this guy off. Oh, I can't. Alright, we're gonna have to, uh... I guess I'll just do that. We gotta get this lowered ASAP so we can actually breathe. Just keep this going. Now, so it's a very... It, it is a very huge world or something. Whoops. Uh, so it's going to take a bit of time to get our, our elevator, our elevator thing set up. Uh, but it'll be totally worth it. Whoops. this guy. This heckin' chonker of a slime. <laughs> you guys get to do this. You have the claws, right? Can't you bounce off walls? Oh! You can wall jump. Oh, okay. Yeah, I totally forgot I picked those up. We do have those. Oh, I left them at home, but yeah, we, we, have, uh, we have some climbing claws or something like that. I forgot to equip them. I did, like, my brain didn't even register that I had those. Thirty-one damage. Too much. There we go. We'll just leave him in there. 
can go in timeout. Okay, so there's that. Keep going. Find the jungle you can make a yo-yo. Oh yeah, that's right! Day slimy jail. <laughs> GBJ now becomes GSJ. Dude, did you guys hear about what happened with, uh, speaking of gay baby jail and everything, like, did you hear about what happened with, um, with, uh, Simple Flip streaming on Facebook and stuff and, like, Twitch fucking banning him and everything? It's so bullshit. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so, he, like, he got offered this, like, deal from Facebook or something. Like, he actually got offered, like, a... Like a like a like money and stuff, and that's why he chose to start streaming on Facebook every so often. But because he's partnered, like he's partnered with he was partnered with Twitch, or no, his partnership got terminated. He could still stream on Twitch, but he's not a partner anymore. That's what it was. He's not banned. Um, that, sorry, I got my words wrong. So he's not a partner on Twitch because he when you become a partner, I think you're not allowed to stream on other platforms or something like. Or, or stream for money or whatever, like on other platforms. Because technically when you're when you're partnered, uh, Simple Flips, Orgun. Fucking Simple Flips' partnership got revoked because he uh, streamed on Facebook. Because he was like offered a, a, a deal by Facebook or whatever to like stream there. Um, so he streams on Facebook now uh, and you'll see it on his YouTube thing. But yeah, he, he posted about it on his Discord and stuff. Somebody linked that in another server I was in. So he's not partnered on Twitch, but like, he, uh, he still gets money from, like, donations and everything, and he's getting money from Facebook, um, and he's still streaming. Uh, but it's like, he's not making money from Twitch anymore, because Twitch was like, well, since you're a partner, sh since you're partnered with us, and you decided to go stream on another platform for money, um, like, they decided to, to cancel his partnership, um... Fuck Facebook, yeah. I mean, whatever. I, you know, he if it was if it's making him a living, I'm all for him. Like, if it's more money than Twitch, like I'm I'm fine with that. It's just yeah, that kind of it kind of hurts some of the people who are like subscribed and stuff, you know, because now they aren't subscribed to him on Twitch anymore, and you can't. Um, it, like I just hope that you know he's able to make his living and and keep keep doing what he what he's doing. Uh, as long as he's okay, he's okay in that front. Like, personally, I'm okay with it, but. Rip Simple Flips. I think he said he's still doing okay in terms of money, and, like, Facebook itself is paying him to stream there. Uh, or something along those lines. So he's, like, he's making money off of it, so he can keep streaming, no problem. But it just kind of screws over some of the people from, uh, from Twitch, and he's like, you know, I'm really sorry about that, and I, di I didn't want that to happen. Uh, he just, he didn't know, like, it was gonna end up like that, so. Uh, yeah. It, it happened just recently, too. That was, like, just a few days ago. You're not gonna watch him anymore? Oh, why not? I mean, he still makes good content. <laughs> Why wouldn't you watch him anymore? I mean, he's still uploading on YouTube, too. Oh boy, hey, there we go. This is cool. Uh, let's, uh, let's try to find some stuff. Okay, well that didn't go anywhere. Oh god, get out of the way. Some silver, some stu stuff, some stuff. Not a whole lot. Really not much exciting along this train track, is there? I don't really see anything. There's a bit of gold right over here. So I'm probably gonna grab that, and then we'll just keep digging. Terraria's got some fucking good music. Yeah, I like the music in Terraria. Oh, dude, we can light it up with the uh, the sparks from jumping. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, where are we at? There we go. You love the Hollow Underground theme, yeah. Uh, I can't remember which song I like the most. Hollow Underground is good though. I, I vaguely remember how that one sounds off the top of my head. Yeah.
And down we go. A snail. Now that is the annoying part about trying to dig a elevator and stuff is when you run into all these pockets of water. But I think I do want to leave a little bit of water just to make sure that if we do fall down, uh, we don't die. I think that would be good. But I want to make it so I don't have to jump out of the water at least. Yeah, we'll let out, we'll let out water like that. That's not enough though for us to land in, I believe. It's fine. We'll just keep going. I'm sure, yeah, see, we've already run into a, a thing where the can let all the water out. Ah, but there is a heart crystal. I'm gonna dig that starter thing. And then, uh, go grab this. Is that another one? Piranhas, too. So we could potentially get a, get a hook. Oh, that's a lot of piranhas. <laughs> Oops. Jesus. Uh, alright, well, time to see if we can get down our... <laughs> get down our fucking thing. Also, uh, for some reason we spawn inside the floor. And break our house. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Look at the meme you PM'd. Move the house or get a bed. Yeah, we're just gonna get a bed. Uh, I should have the stuff to make the bed. Um, we need a loom, right? How do we make a loom? Let's also equip these climbing claws. All right, let me see. Where is, uh... Where is this meme? Oh yeah, this one. You need to go back to work so we can increase quarter two GDP by 3%. What about the stock market? And it's just like a guy laying in a fucking hospital bed with a... with a oxygen mask on. Jesus. Uh, you need a sawmill thing. Okay, make a chain. Need a chain to make a sawmill and then loom. Got it. So we need to make a chain, which we can do. Oh, we have enough iron. Uh, where is it? Ten chains. And then, uh, sawmill. Plop him over there. And then, we need more wood. You do it with the chest open, right? Or am I not close enough to the sawmill? I think I'm too far away. Where's my wood? Oh, I turned all my wood into a uh, background. I need to get more. I'm actually gonna move this over here by the chest. I need to make a better weapon too. I should make the yo-yo. Loving all these black weapon drops. You can revert wood walls. Oh, can you? I don't know. I'll just hold on to him. I'm gonna go get the star before it despawns. I don't know what time it is. Yeah, we'll make that wooden yo-yo in a second here. I think we can craft it with what we have. Um, but let's get some more wood. I also need to build more NPC housing, so might as well just collect some wood and uh, keep the walls on hand, you know? I... The axe is fine keeping him away. Alright, outdoors is spooky. Let's go back inside. And there it is. Okay, so we get a loom. Put that down. I need to get all my cobwebs. Accidentally put those away. We can make a uh, string for yo-yo range. We can make our wooden yo-yo. Uh, use that instead of a bone air boomerang. And then we can make some silk. Is the bed at the sawmill? Yeah. And uh, I'll build a second floor. If I can get these zombies off. Zombies be like, g-g-g-g. Big G. 
Was oh, it daytime now? Nice. Uh, let's just do this. Put our bed up here. And also put a table and chair so we can get another NPC in. gonna move this over so it's in the middle. Kind of prefer it set up that way, you know? Uh, so right about here. You got kind of bored. Just kind of came out of you. <laughs> That's how it goes. Sometimes you just gotta let it out, man. Oh, you know what? I never put a torch in here, so the, the guy just vanished. Never to be seen again. There we go. I forgot that they also need lighting. Uh, alright. Now let's make a table and chair. And there we go. So, this should be a room, right? That's suitable. We'll make the guide move in down here. And then whoever shows up up here, we get a bread. Spawn point set. There we go. Alright, let's put this stuff away and go back in the pit. Uh, okay, we're good. Yeah, alright. We can just do that to slow down before we die. Although there isn't walls at the bottom of the pit. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Accidentally press down on the platform and just plunge to your death? Oh yeah, you totally could. Uh, but that, we just have to try not to and we'll be okay. Uh, oh no, my torches are gone. Oops. That's not good. I forgot, I, I, I didn't think I put them away in the chest, but I guess I did by accident. All right. Here we go. Only 27 damage, not too bad. Uh, next time I come down here, I want to put torches so I can actually see my way down. Oh, but we're going to need torches if we find any areas to branch off and explore. Whoops. I guess we'll be okay with the flare gun for now. How deep is that pit? Dude, it's very deep. It's not even deep enough to, like, it's got to go way deeper, because we got to go to hell. We're going to go to hell before we die. Although, I guess we already died, so it doesn't really hold anymore. But uh, we, we got to go to hell so we can kill demons and uh, do all that. Although, really, what we should do now is try to get some bombs. Um, and, uh... And then go to the, cr the the Crimson and get our, um... Get our Crimson stuff going. Let me hit him. No. Leave me alone. Still no... Still no hookshot. Oh, I want to kill that guy. He might drop a mining helmet, I think. That would be very nice of him. I don't know if he can, but I feel like he can. He could at least drop some bombs. I, I, I'm pretty sure he is, like, guaranteed to drop bombs or something like that. And uh, we need some of those. So, give it a shot. This is the main reason I like the yo-yo, being able to kill enemies around walls and stuff. Fun speed run. Speed fun, even. Uh, are you even to the cavern yet? I think so, now that I'm seeing these guys. Yeah, here it is. Here's the cavern. The cavern layer background, I think, is this. Um, so I think we are in the cavern layer, but yeah, this world's gigantic. Um, yeah, see? It changes right there. So we, we've... We're, <laughs> hell's down here. We're, we're like halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, if we could get the uh, the demolitionist to show up and just buy bombs, that would make this a lot faster. Because we can just explode our way down. Either that or just get the uh, the crimson pickaxe, which is, I think, a faster tool. Uh, there we go. So we have some bombs now. I don't know how many we need for the guy to show up. I think we only need one. Invent a new Minecraft speedrun category, bedrock percent. You just dig straight down. And then you fall in lava and die. I like it.
I don't think the Harpy statue does anything. There's an Enchanted Boomerang. That's 13 damage. I mean, it is more damage than our, uh, than our yo-yo, so... It's a good side weapon to keep on us. For if we have a line of sight, we can use the, the Boomerang instead. Crimson Pickaxe needs BOC. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so we got the merchant. Um, I don't think he sells bombs. I think it's the demo man. Tungsten is a worthy investment. Uh, one shot's dirt. Okay. We have a gold one, so we don't need the tungsten pickaxe anymore. We have the gold pickaxe. Uh, are you saying luck heavy speedruns aren't true speedruns? Yes. The fucking, like, Chad yes meme thing. Gold is better, yeah. I usually go for gold and then I get, uh... I used to go for gold just so I could go straight to Hellstone, but you can't do that anymore. Which makes me sad. There we go. This works pretty good. Get some more bombs. Uh, so yeah, we want to hold on to those bombs in our inventory, because uh, holding on to explosives is what lets the uh, the dude move in. So, we'll try to do that. Like, what do you need to look down and keep pressing left click? Yeah. That's a speed run, dude. I mean, okay, look at it this way, right? If, if you can speed run getting banned from uh, Yandere Dev's Discord, you could, you could speed run just holding left click. So, um, I'm gonna dig this a little bit longer, and then we should probably just go back. Uh, I, I really wanted to get enough to make a hook with, honestly, before, like, the next time we went back up. Because I want to get a hook. One of the mods you use a lot, you think it's Thorium, lets you craft boomerangs and yo-yos into throwable versions? That's interesting. 33 MS. Uh, what? Oh, the record on Civ 5 is 33 milliseconds. Jesus Christ. Isn't it because you could just instantly, like, yeah. Well, no, one frame, unless it's a, unless it's a 30 FPS game, one frame should be 16 milliseconds, like 16.667. Uh, so technically that's a two frame speed run, I think. Which is hilarious. God, what is that? Who's this friend? Okay, he's just a he's just a cockney old beetle. I forgot about those. Um, we really need torches. Why does he win? setup where he just wins turn one uh no i think the uh the victory the turn one victory in civ is like you just forfeit or something i don't know i don't remember uh but there's a way you could just you, you just you just make you force the game to end in a victory somehow uh i can't remember what they do but you just do that and then there you go you win it's very silly you love cock neil beetles yeah oh it's a very specific setup okay Understandable.
You play as the Shoshone whose cities start with more land. Oh, is it just RNG if you can even do it when you start up the game or something? When you end turn, you have the high. Oh, you control the most land, so you... Okay. And then you, uh... And then what do you do? No other Civ can reach your score. Interesting. You set specific rules. Yeah, so it's like a score victory, one turn thing. Any person- Oh, no. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> yeah, score victory, your own Civ is the- Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Wait, so why does it why does it end in a victory after one turn though? Don't you have to set it then the game length to just one turn? It's not any percent per se, it's just score victory. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I want the mining helmet. Should I sell my gold? There are runs for all the victory types? Oh my god. Do I need sapphire for really much of anything? Speaking of counting any percent as the- you usually just count any percent as the quickest one. Um, I do need gold- okay, I'm gonna hold on to it then. Or sapphire. Which one are you talking about? Let's, uh, let's go check. I have a guide right here. Okay, sapphire makes really nothing. Uh, multicolored stained glass, a robe, a staff, a hook, a phase blade. Yeah, I don't care about any of this stuff. For the big gem? But that's just- for capture the gem. What do you mean? I can't make gem spark either. Uh, maybe those are modded recipes, but uh, I don't know. And vanilla it's pretty useless. So what about gold? Uh, so there's obviously the gold tools and armor. Um, really not much besides this like gold clock. Uh, I might just sell both of these off. I don't know if I have enough stuff to sell, but I think I might. Modded. Okay, well, I don't want gem spark either. <laughs> Isn't it just that one really shitty thing that, like, does three damage or something? Aesthetic. No, man. Even if the fastest speedrun is something stupid. Well, what if... It, so what I was going to say is, is there a game where any percent is slower than a different percentage? Gem spark glows. Oh, it's a... Oh, you're talking about the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need it. We'll find more at some point. I'm gonna sell the gold too. We're almost there. Uh, what else can I sell? Hmm. Oh, I have more gold. Just sell more gold. There we go. All right, now we can actually see underground. Unless it's a speed run, like death percent or something. I guess. Okay. Um. So we have twenty nine bombs. Let's let's try to make some more NPC housing. Uh, for for a little while. Let's get a bunch of houses set up. We need like five or six or something. Uh, and that way we can try to get like the arms master and the, uh, the demolitionist and all the all those cool people. And the demo man will be nice, so then we can start just buying explosives and using those to go through places faster. Oh yeah, credit warp, they have that as a separate category. Oh yeah, there you go. 
Getting over it has a meme percent speedrun where the only requirement is at least half of your submission needs to include getting over it. <laughs> oh my god. Never looked proper into that. You just watch stuff and draw your own conclusions. Fair enough. Current record is 48 hours. Of what, uh, any percent or whatever of, of getting over it? That's... Wait, no. No, no, the actual speedrun for, for getting over it is like a few minutes. Yeah, meme percent, okay. So is that speedrun trying to go as long as possible? Like, is that what the point of that speedrun is? That's what it sounds like. Yeah, okay. I'm surprised the the uh, the record is only 48 hours. I would expect if it's trying to go as long as possible. Yeah, oh, at least half of it to be gameplay. Okay, so you need to... Okay, so then it's limited by how many hours you're willing to spend playing getting over it in order to... Uh, can you just sit still and getting over it and just leave it running? Because technically you could record like 10 minutes of getting over it for <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, what would the other footage even be? Like, I wonder if you could just, uh, if that's against the rules to just, like, loop footage. I feel like that probably is. Current world record is a bunch of anime girls. Oh, no. That sounds like they looped footage then for that. Like, if they just have, like, anime girls fucking dancing in the background endlessly for 24 hours, like, fucking Yan Cat and stuff, you would just start playing something else. I mean, yeah, you could do that. I think it's uh, it's all about optimizing as, as little of your time spent uh, creating the video and as much of the video being, like, you know, what it needs to be. Just do a Super Mario 64 speedrun at the end. Yeah, but then how are you going to get above 48 hours with that, right? Like, Super Mario doesn't take that long. It would be within the rules? Okay, so perfect. I could do that then. So here's what I could do, right? For my submission. Um, I could play- I could get- I could get, uh, you know, five or ten minutes of getting over it footage, uh, loop it, um, for about 50 hours, and then just take some other footage and loop that for 50 hours, and then there you go, I got a hundred hour speedrun. It does if you reset a bunch, yeah. Play for a year, and then in the end you just grab the controller and break world record. <laughs> I mean, really, it doesn't even have to be, like, anything else. You could just loop getting over it footage for infinite amount of time and just upload that video. And the only the only uh, limit would be how long it takes your internet to upload that whole video. Uh, so there you go. See, when I'm done with the stream here, right, I can go record, like, five seconds of getting over it footage, uh, throw that into, like, some sort of video editing program, and uh, render out a, you know, 2,000-hour video and then just go turn that in. You hate this base setup. Dude, it's an apartment. It's it's apartment buildings. <laughs> I just went with the most straightforward thing. Like, I guess I could have done it even more optimized by doing those vertical, like, rooms that have the uh, platforms in between and not even doors and stuff. Um, but I just kind of started building this without thinking about it. Okay, we'll make something that looks nicer eventually, but I just want NPCs. I only needed three chairs. Sadness. And then I'm gonna put these randomly so it's even more, like, upsetting. There you go. I hate this! Why are they so big? I don't know. Why not? <laughs> Are these valid rooms? I think they are. Yeah, we have everything we need. You like bigger than they have uh, to rooms? Makes sense. Yeah, I kind of like building bigger rooms than I really have to. You will never make a too high Minecraft house. <laughs> Alright, um... So, we don't have, we don't have the topazes we need for the hook yet. 
We also don't have the the actual hook and to make the uh, iron hook. So we're tough out of luck on that front. So we just gotta keep keep trying. Um, I don't think I have any more slime. Wait, do I? I have some slime right here. Good job. Make some more uh, torches. Minecraft always needs jumping room, but Terraria 4x8 interiors. <laughs> yeah. There we go. A whole bunch of torches. Put our flare gun. Um, keep the bombs in our inventory, because I think they have to be there on hand. I don't think I can put them in a chest and have it count. And then we'll just uh, light up some more of this and be good to go. Ow. Oh, fuck. I, was, I looked over at chat and I pressed... Uh, I press left on accident. Yeah, until you can afford to make them pretty, right. Two by two at max for sprint jump nether quarters. Did you guys see Il Mango's uh, video on the snapshot of how to get infinite speed? Or I guess not infinite, but how to get like maximum speed in the with the uh, the, the the soul sand walker thing. Uh, you can go, like, up to a thousand meters per second in Minecraft. And, like, the game will fucking crash and break on you. What's the star? What do you mean, what's the star? You mean the fallen stars in this game? Oh, yeah, they fixed it, though? Oh, did they already fix it? Okay. Uh, I need to see where exactly to put torches. I'm gonna take it off. Uh, take off the mining helmet for a second. Uh, yeah, you haven't played Terraria as much? Your pet terrifies you, just use platforms? Uh, so I can fall faster, that's why I don't use platforms. Eventually you can just stop taking falling damage all, all together, so it doesn't even matter. Um, it's just early game that fall damage matters. So, we'll, we'll be okay. Also, our, uh, our claws and, and the hookshot, like, negate fall damage when you stop yourself. Uh, it's mainly based on, like, velocity. And as soon as your velocity hits zero, it resets, or like hits really low, it hit resets the fall damage. Rope lets you go up and down? Yeah, but then you'd need like tens of thousands of rope or something. Like, I think our world is 8,000 blocks high. Uh, I don't want to make that much rope. I'm lazy. <laughs> I just want to dig a hole. Alright, let's, uh, let's see, how do we... Okay, I guess, yeah, it's just with the, uh, with the waterfall. That, that's helpful. Rope's cheap. Right, but digging the pit with nothing is even cheaper. <laughs> Just having a shit pit. And there you go. Oh, he's throwing shit. That's so rude. Get out of here. Almost made it up here. No natural light underground. Oh, you hate that your torches are on both sides. <laughs> well, that's just the way I do it. Alright, let's, uh... Put this there. I don't really need shurikens on him. You lost your Minecraft server? Oh, no. It crashes when you open it? What the hell? Uh, maybe what you can do is use, um, you might be able to use world edit or something to, uh, delete whatever's making you crash. Do you know, like, maybe you could try to post the crash log somewhere and be like, hey guys, why does my world crash? Can I fix this? And, uh, see if anyone can help. Because th maybe, like, maybe there's just something in the world, like a block type or something, that, uh, that makes it so when you try to log in, you crash. And if you could delete that with, uh, world edit, then you could recover it. It worked one day. Oof. But I bet you, in the crash log, 
Uh, I bet it has just enough information to see what exactly is making you crash and give you a hint as what to delete in, uh, in World Edit. I bet you there's like a broken modded item you put down or something along those lines. Because that's happened to me in the past. Um, hey, look at this. Can I get up there? Yeah. Yeah, you should check. Um, it may it may be a thing, because I know I've had an issue before myself where a world kept crashing. And there was like a there was a thing in like somebody's inventory, or there was a thing placed in the world that was just a broken item. Uh, and getting rid of it like fixed it. And then it was all it was all hunky dory. No, I mean to to tell it to print a crash log as a file. Uh, you can do that. Um, I don't remember how, but there is there is a setting for that. Oh, there's another house over here. Maybe this one will finally have double jump in it. And it's the crash log, which will give you exactly what... Like, exactly the error that made you crash. Um, so, if you, get, if you get the crash log, you can probably see what's doing it. That's the last message of the log, really? No, that that's not the crash log. That's a uh... server starting and forced into state server stopped. Wait, what? The state engine was in an inc oh. So something fucked up the state of the game and uh put it into a an invalid value. So you're going to have to figure out what did that and how to reset that. You could google that. See if there's a way to reset your server's uh state engine. Um, or a world state engine. That that might be a thing. You, you could probably do that in, in World Edit. Hopefully. But then the issue becomes what, what made that happen in the first place and how do you avoid it in the future, you know? So. I don't know, man. Oh yeah, is it a mod pack? Or is it just, uh, do you just have a, cu a couple mods you're using yourself? Here we go. Demolitionist is here. Perfect. Ooh hee hee, I cannot see! Yeah, it's pretty dark. Uh, I'm trying to get the water out so I can put a torch. Your server is unstable. Yes, but why? Chance of crashing on startup? Oh no. That's what the flares are for? Oh yeah, I guess I should shoot one at my feet. Huh. Alright, and down we go. I'm just hoping I run into some topaz. Either that or we could go look for the jungle and just go do some jungle stuff. Because jungle's not that bad to survive in. And uh, we could go get stuff for the jungle yo-yo. That would be cool. Probably a good early yo-yo upgrade. Maybe tell it to give you the crash log. Uh, there's a setting. Um, you're going to have to Google that one because I can't remember exactly how you do it. Um, but... I mean, that one, it tells you the state machine. I, I guess you could, like, the crash log would tell you exactly, like, you know, the error. Um, hopefully. But yeah, just Google how you get a server to, to print a crash log. It'll give you, like, a text file with a date, and it'll, it'll print out exactly what the error was and everything. Uh, and that should hopefully let you, you know, uncover the secrets and mysteries of what the hell is going on. You know what? We're gonna go back up. We're gonna get bombs. We're gonna go to the jungle. Oh, wait, no! Here's the topaz! Awesome. Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't leave yet. We can get the topaz and make a hook. And then we can go to the jungle with our with our hook. And then we're set. Uh, okay, beautiful. Alright, let's get out of here. Ow. So much brighter. 
Alright. So we can buy dynamite and bombs, and they're pretty damn cheap, too. The sponges are hell. Uh, let's go for dynamite. Okay, I can't afford that much. Never mind. We're not getting that much dynamite. Uh, okay. Let's make our hook. Opaz hook. Beautiful. Throw that on. Get some more max mana. And, uh, quick sack. Throw Topaz away. Uh, I guess I'll hold on to the extra torches. I'm gonna put Invisibility and Spelunker away, because I don't need those yet. I'm gonna save the Spelunkers for later. Um, probably in hard mode, when we're looking for those ores. Or I guess I could bring him to the, uh, the jungle. I don't know. I'll bring one. I'm gonna s I'm gonna hold on to the other one. Healing potions are fine. Shurikens, uh, I don't need. But I need to set up another chest. There we go. Alright, now we can hook. And now we can go try to find the jungle. And also, I guess we can explore the crimson while we're at it. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and save mods and map on a zip file, okay? Human pants. Jungle's left? How do you know? How, how do you know? <laughs> What if it's right? Because they, they're on random sides of the world every time. You just know? Alright. Okay, if it's not left, uh, you owe me uh, 100 bits. How about that? And if it is left, uh, I have nothing I can give you. I'll give you something in Animal Crossing. Twitch bits. What do you mean, what are bits? They're, they're the bits. <laughs> oh. I felt like I dropped some food on my shirt, but I didn't. That was weird. The Hermes boots would be nice. Zero bits. Oh my gosh. Oops. Okay, there may be a chest in here. I'm gonna check. Oh, it's a uh, it's a tree. Okay, I don't really want to get lost in another cave system. Um, let's see if the tree has any side rooms with the with the chest. I think it does right over there. goes for a while. <laughs> I guess on bigger worlds, the tree can go down further. Jesus. Look at this. Remove the torch in the tree room. That's a legal bedroom now? Oh, shit. Alright. What the hell? Okay, there it goes. There's the end. Oh, it goes out into the desert. Uh, underground desert area. Cool. I want to explore that later because I do want an extractinator, but for now I just need to get out of here. I didn't expect this to go that deep. My lord. Okay. Almost there. There we go. Ah, 
I think the main thing I like about Calamity, um, one of your favorite speed techs is hooking the middle of the block of a closed door and opening it. Oh my gosh. When you go real fast. Um, I think one of my favorite things about Calamity is just like the new biomes and stuff it adds. I think those look really nice. And they're, they're fun to explore. And there's like the deep dark void biome on the edge of the map under the ocean on one side. And stuff like that. I like I, The biomes are really cool. And, and they have good music and stuff, and the sprites look good. I think a lot of the reason people don't like Calamity, though, is... I think the item balance. And just, like, how silly the numbers get. Oh my god. We have to build our way across this. Fargo Soul Mod Mascus Mode makes Cacti deal damage? Yeah. Yeah. I saw that in the uh, in the video thing that I was watching about it. It's a huge pit. heart attack doing that because I I know the shape of the pit so I'm very I'm pretty I was pretty confident that uh, if I just threw the hook at about there I would hit a wall and, and be okay because it, it has that funnel shape for for a while and I think it's like the bigger it is the further down it goes experience yeah kind of I mean there could have been an enemy though and that would have thrown everything off but uh, thankfully there wasn't so I was fine <laughs> Still more desert over here. Jeez. Okay, just a little bit. I'm gonna have to... Okay, there's water anyways. There we go. Whew. If I had a net, uh, what do you mean? Did I miss something that I could have caught? I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, there was a golden bunny? I didn't even see that. What do the golden bunnies do? Oh, well, it is so you you were correct. Your 50-50 paid off. <laughs> Sell for 10 gold. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty handy. <laughs> Okay, so what would you have said if it wasn't this way? Should, would you would you say like, oh well, shouldn't have trusted me? <laughs> uh oh, All right. I'm gonna hiccup. Man here. Speaking of experience, jungle is always on the left. I'm pretty sure it's a 50/50. I don't think there's any other uh, things that influence the jungle position besides like. Because, I mean, I've had right-sided jungles pretty often. I don't know. At least to me, I don't think it's been any... I haven't noticed any bias, really, but... Maybe it's just because I don't remember. But I, I... As far as I remember, in terms of, like, what it's coded to be, the... There's... It's just like a 50-50 coin flip. It either puts the dungeon on the left or the right. I, I could be wrong, though. There could be more factors that go into it. Um... Oh, an umbrella. Thanks. Yeah. 
No. Yeah, let's see what the wiki says. Maybe, maybe they got it. Okay, daytime is, is going to be a lot better to explore in. Yeah, it's always opposite snow and dungeon kind of thing. So. Yeah, so I think it's just a 50-50 because dungeon can be either right or left and that's it. It just picks one or the other. I guess you could look at the, um, at what the wiki says for the dungeon and see if maybe there's more that goes into dungeon besides 50-50. Wow. The jungle starts all the way here. This huge world is kind of ridiculous. You know what we should also do? We should build like a sky bridge. Uh, if we can even get enough materials for it. That would be nice to have. Okay, I'm gonna go to the right because I didn't see any crimson. I want to go uh, break a couple orbs because I want to get meteorite as my first armor set. And probably just using the meteor gun. Although, I do want to go with yo-yos. You know what? Let's try to do only yo-yos. Uh, but I'm still gonna get, try to get meteorite for the armor. Because it is a good armor set on its own. And I think the Crimson Armor can give you a melee bonus, so we'll probably switch to that after we defeat the Eye, or the Brain. Um. I think that's a good plan. The dungeon doesn't say anything either, yeah. I don't know. The big gaming. Alright. Hopefully some crimson pops up over here somewhere. And we can just, uh... swoops on down there and blow some stuff up. I'm not gonna bother with this tree. I don't think you really find that good of items down there anyways. Uh, what was another one? So good at winging the fuck out of things. Uh, what do you mean? Would you wing? Do you get some hot wings? No. Not just any gaming, though. State-mandated gaming. They told me to stay home. So I have to game. I have no controller and I must game. You don't remember what mods you added? So you just, uh... Put the old list. And that was it? Okay, here's the snow. We can get hypothermia. And die. Okay, hold on. Oh, maybe it's underground snow that makes you, uh drown faster. Ouch. Check for repeated mods, unless you have a different name. 
Drowning faster. Oh, it's part of Fargo's... Wait, no. I thought that was part of a uh, regular vanilla Minecraft. Or, or Minecraft Terraria. Um, or maybe maybe it's also part of, like, Calamity and other mods. Because I, I know I've had Drowning faster without having, like, the soul mode. Uh, or the soul mod, like, masochist thing on. Uh, so it might actually be part of Calamity or something that they just added that feature. Like, I, I, I think that's, like, a common thing that you can find. All right. I'll do that later. Right now, I just want to- I want to find some crimson. I gotta get that meteor. I do get a movement debuff, though. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. An IRL Warhammer 40k orc. Hell yeah. Duct tape and glue. That's that's how you survive. If you believe strong enough something that you do will work, it will. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, hello, spider. The animal crossing tarantulas are after me. Five seconds slow in snow water has been a thing since expert mode. Okay, yeah, yeah. They make a gross noise. Shit, I missed. I missed! <laughs> no. F. in the game, you know what that means? I die for real? Yeah, you die in the game, you die You die for real. Just like that movie with fucking Frankie Muniz in it. I saw stars. The Hermes boots would be nice. I'd make this a lot less painful. And also building a sky bridge. Uh, so that way we don't have to navigate the lumpy terrain. Okay, we'll get back over there. This time we won't die. And then I'll, uh, I'll just break a couple orbs and just get out of there. That's all I need. Until you get at least one meteor. Okay, yeah, that's true, because if we build the bridge, then the meteor will hit it, and that would be bad. That's a good point. I totally forgot about that. snow, we're almost there. Penguin. Uh, I don't really have anything to build across this way. No. Oops. I can zoom out. You tried to save it, it didn't work? Damn. That's highly unfortunate. The last ditch ever was but in vain. 
Alas. Oh no, we're gone. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Holy Christ. Whoa. <laughs> Like, hey man, whatever you want to do behind behind closed doors, that's your business, but chill out with taking things into public. It's just like some meme thing, where it's like some guy using the fucking face masks to hide his, like, pacifier thing that he's like... Yeah, I don't know. It's fucking weird. I don't understand it. God, there's a spider. Absolutely terrified. Give the server proper burial. Alright, sounds good. Get away from me! Oops, that might have rolled too far away. No, we're good. Okay, we got two. Please let that be enough for one meteor to fall. Oh god, there's so many spiders. Alright, we just gotta get out of here. I know one is enough, but sometimes I just never get the, f the meteor from just one. So, I don't, I don't know. I would even go f as far as to say usually I don't get it on the first one, and it just never happens. Two-thirds at the start of every night? Oh, okay. So I just have to wait then. All right. Okay, until the first, and then it's it's lower. All right. Understandable. Um, let's put the Undertaker away. Uh, I might use the Rotted Fork. It seems better than the Boomerang, because then it's not like... We don't have to wait for it to come back to us. Um, and then the yo-yo can be for range. Uh, but we need, we need a gooder yo-yo. Too cursed for the stream, Discord. <laughs> <laughs> so our pit's getting there. Um, I guess we'll just do more pit until a meteor falls, and then we'll go look for that. That should be fine. Because we're going to want this to go all the way down anyways. And, uh... Now that we have quick access to hell. Hey, the arms dealer. There we go. Elevator, exactly. You made a huge mistake. You're tired and bored and decided to check out pole. Oh no. <laughs> what do you mean how terrible it is? It's a hole that goes straight down. That's all it has to be. <laughs> Don't bully my elevator. He's trying his best. When you make the server, you're not allowed to make it. Oh dude, I'm gonna i I'm gonna dig the elevator. Can't stop me. <laughs> so we're just keeping our eyes out for when a meteor falls, otherwise just just going down. And then, uh, we need to go get that meteor stuff and make our armor. That would be good.
No, we already found the jungle. Uh, I mean, I guess we could go try to explore the jungle. Um, but it's kind of dangerous. And, I don't know. I'll wait until the next morning and then go out there with as much light as possible. Now I don't have to deal with, like, the zombies and stuff getting in the way. You're noticing this sounds exactly like the Breath of the Wild ancient lab music. Does it really? I can't remember how that music sounds off the top of my head. It's been a while since I played Breath of the Wild. The Come On Down to Cleveland Town song? No? Oh, shit. What is this? Ancient Lab's a little more plucky. Alright. It's almost night time, though. <laughs> How did you entome it? What did you do? Sparkly boy, yeah. I picked up some of my money. Has some really loud sound effects. It joins its brothers with the old Hexit world and the old 112 pack. Oh, you just archive it, okay. There we go. See, some of the other ones you can go back and like check out later, but that one I don't think you can ever go back unless it manages to successfully launch. What's, uh, why do you need to craft a minecart if you can just press E on the rails to ride them anyways? What does this minecart do? Or is this for when you build your own railroad system? That's what it's for, huh? I don't know. I've never really made it. I actually use minecarts that much. I should probably do that. That'd be cool. Mm. Crafted minecart is slightly faster. Oh! Interesting. So wait, can I make it and then equip it? Is that a... Yeah. Alright. There you go. Might as well. I do have a mining potion. I was gonna say. I got one of those. Um, so we take the mining potion and the... Uh, I don't really need Spelunker. There's nothing to really that I want. It isn't worth it. Ah, too late. It's only some wood and iron. It's not a big deal. And we'll, we'll replace it later on in the game anyways. Um, I should make a minecart system, or a minecart that goes over to the jungle. Can you build minecarts just wherever, like, floating? They're really cheap. One, one iron ingot and one wood for 50 blocks of coverage. Especially because you're an expert. Okay, yeah. You can make floating minecart tracks? Hell yeah, I'm gonna make this just coming off of our, uh, our dumb house here. Or our apartment building. And, uh... Maybe have it go up through this way, and just have a minecart that goes all the way over here. Oh, they don't block meteorites? Perfect! Alright, let's do our sky bridge out of minecart. Um, we have a good amount of iron. And wood, naturally. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds good. I like that idea. Hello, neighbor house. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, Alright, minecart. Yo, look at that. That's great. What? Oh, the tree gets in the way. Alright, well, fine. Uh, I guess from here we're gonna... I need to go up anyways to get over the hill later on, so... 
Let's uh, let's just start going upwards with it. Can I do that? Yeah, I can. <laughs> oh no. All right, you gotta click in the right spot. Oh. Yeah, I can't hold it down. <laughs> I can't just hold down the button to build diagonally. Ride the tracks as they're built, yep. They could be control place? Oh, maybe control place would do it for me. Uh, yeah. You got told Half-Life Alex was really bad. Um, okay, well, I, outside of story. Like, okay, maybe the story's bad, but is the gameplay good? Like, is it a really good VR game? Because that's, that's the thing that I want it to be. Uh, so people will actually buy VR and headsets will start getting cheaper and shit like that. You've heard it was really good? The gameplay fucking fresh? Hell yeah. Gameplay bad. Oh. Wait, Victoria, you don't even have a headset, do you? How do you know? <laughs> yes! Okay, control place. There we go. Oop. It's a really loud sound effect. Um, all right, so we're gonna have to go through the tree, but that's that's fine. I'll just mine it. There we go. Railroad to space, yeah. Joel had a great time with it. All right, all right. Don't go too high. Right, right. Uh, I just want to go over the hill. I can mine through the tree when we get over there. This is super loud. Let me turn that down. There we go, that's kind of better. Railroad into space! No, we'll do that eventually. I want to go to space as well, because I want to go get the, um, the Sky Islands. Fight whatever the dog dragon. Oh yeah, that's in expert mode. Uh, so we can't fight him yet, but we will fight him eventually, because we need his, uh, his souls of flight to make wings and stuff. Um, but for now, we just need to work work on the railroad. And then enemies won't spawn on this because it's not solid ground. This is just a much better idea all around than making a, a normal sky bridge. We're just going to need a bunch more iron to uh, really get this going. Oh, but I think eyes can fly up through it, probably. Ow. Okay, this is bad. Here's one major flaw. We're actually almost over the top of the tree. We could just go up some more. Uh, I'd be fine with that. A lens. Lens is nice. Are they gonna keep spawning? Uh-oh. This is bad. <laughs> no, they just keep showing up. Oh god. Get away from me. Maybe if I go away, they'll despawn. Um, it's fine as I get mauled by eyes. Yep. Two black lenses, please. All right, let's let's try this. They, hopefully they despawn by now. It's night. They're going to keep spawning. Well, yeah, but I didn't know if... I guess because we're too far away from the ground, so there's the only thing that can spawn is more eyeballs. That's uh, That makes sense. Oh, I want to do that. Oh, come on. You fucker. Alright. There we go. Problem solved. Now that we're on flat ground. There we go. I wish you could place faster. I guess if I drink the Builder Potion... No. I think the Builder Potion is just for reach. Keep the dip. All right, I'll put the dip back in. Funny dip. Funny dip go burr. Uh, you think Alex is very sound VR seller? It runs on practically every variant of VR there is? Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's because of Valve's uh, VR thing. Like, the, the VR program that's built into Steam um, can support, like, every headset. So, uh, how did I build the dip? Okay, hold on. There you go. Funny dip. Um, 
Get me out of here. He's coming. It's gonna be real fun when you go the opposite way and it turns into a ramp. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. I think a star just. Oh, dude, I want that. Ow. I didn't have my double jump. I'm dead. I think I got the lens though. You're gonna head out? Alright, Morgan. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow, man. What time is it? 10 30? Okay, so. I don't know how late I'm gonna stay up. I do actually still have classes online, so uh, I gotta be up at like 8 in the morning for that. Or, yeah, about 8. I might just wrap this up in about like half an hour. Yeah, lens is all that matters. Um, let's see, do we have any more iron? Or did I use it all? I used all the iron. Builder potion. Oh, it, it is placement speed as well, so we can take the builder's potion. And, uh, build track at light speed. Let's go get some more iron and just build as much track as we can. Almost 2 a.m. You should head out. Yeah, yeah. If you got classes, you know, feel free to get some rest. Uh, don't, don't be missing them classes. Let's, let's get a whole bunch of iron. Let's try to make, you know, fucking 10,000... Railroads, and then I think with the Builder Potion, we should hopefully be able to play some real quick, and, uh, just drive along and do that. And then we can get our fucking in intercontinental highway, uh, set up. <laughs> and eventually we'll do it the other way, um... You know, I would pick this up, like, the whole thing, but it's really slow. If I had Vein Miner, I would do it. Just let it start Vein Mining the track or something, but, yeah, fuck that. Uh, what are these? Ooh, diamonds. I didn't even notice these before. Much faster to just get iron and build our own. Got your daughter with you? She woke up. Oh, damn. Did you have a nightmare or something, or just can't sleep? 6.50 a.m. gang. <laughs> you darn European other side of the country time zones. Tooth fairy hype. <laughs> but if she doesn't sleep, then how is the tooth fairy going to show up? You gotta go to bed. That's what I said. <laughs> the Tooth Fairy, you know, they're very shy. They don't, they don't like to, they don't like to be seen. They, they like to quietly do their work and then leave. So she would smash the Tooth Fairy. Oh man, how violent! <laughs> that poor Tooth Fairy. Ooh, there's a heart piece up here. Uh, now I want that. Go get it. Some iron over this way. Yeah, there was. Perfect. There we go. End of the Tooth Fairy tyranny. Just smash it like Mario is the logic. All right, yeah, that's fair. However, right here's something to think about. If the Tooth Fairy has wings and can fly around, how do you jump on top of it? You know? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think about all the, uh, possibilities. <laughs> J 
Just use a yo-yo. Alright, there you go. Yo, the spear is really good. I kind of broke my rule of no yo-yos already, but... Or only yo-yos already, but that's fine. We'll just stick with mostly yo-yos and just melee in general. Because, like, in my opinion, ranged and magic are just better uh, options, especially early game. Uh, so I kind of want to stick with the melee. I, I like melee web. We definitely also rob the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine if she leaves money under everybody's pillow, how loaded the Tooth Fairy is? Just beat her up and take her wallet. There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's keep dropping. There we go. So, once we get a bunch of iron, we'll be able to make a lot of railroad track. Tooth Fairy is the 1%. Yeah. The Tooth Fairy is the reason that, uh... That poor people are getting, uh... Are getting stepped on in society. Down with the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> she must be overthrown. over here. Gold. Not really keen on that. Oh yeah, this is where I died. I forgot about that. For the fucking the dynamite. Now back in bed. There you go. Is it just a bear? Yeah, what what animal is the stuffed animal? These are the questions. These are the mysteries. <laughs> what do we got? 141 iron ore. Okay, yeah, that's that's plenty. We should have more than enough. We got 200 health. Hell yeah. Alright, let's uh let's turn on ingots. Teddy bear from grandma made for her by hand. Oh, that's amazing. It says from nanny with love on it. Wonderful. There you go. Now that's a good teddy bear. Alright, let's see. Uh... Yep. Traveling- oh, traveling merchant! Uh, we don't really have any money, but we could see what he has anyways, I guess. useful. I guess, no, the Gypsy Road's a magic thing. We don't really need it. Be asleep ASAP. Oh, and the cat's on the bed. Yep, yep. You only have one stuffed toy left. You saved it because it, he was expensive as fuck. Nice. I have a, uh, I have this little stuffed duck that I had as a kid. Um, and I actually still have him. I, I can't, I, like, I, I lost him for a long time, and then I found him again, like, at some point recent, like, over the last ten years or something, he surfaced again. And, uh, I have- I have this little, like, beanbag stuffed duck. Um, and I think the- the little animal- like, stuffed animal's name it was just Duckums or something, so that, like, that's just- that's what he was. Uh, but he's just like- he's just a legit duck. He's not like a little, like, character or anything. He's just- he's just a duck. That's it. He's yellow, and he has like an orange bill or something. But, uh, he's super fucking old. I've had that thing since I was, like, five or six. All right, let's drink that builder potion. You miss Pappy? Oh, you got a teddy from your great grandpa. It is a cowboy hat. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's 
It's a Leroy from Leroy and Stitch. Wait, Leroy? What? I thought it was Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Who's Leroy? <laughs> Alright, potion. Oh my god, look at it go. Okay, it's faster, but it's not fast enough for the minecart's, like, top speed. That's okay, we go about this fast, we're good. Oh, he's the red eviler sti- Okay, got it, got it, spin-off thing. Okay. <laughs> Why is his name so close to Lee Lo? Or Lee- Lee Lo? Like, whatever her name was? I- I don't know, fucking know. Who the hell is Lee Lo? I forget. I haven't seen that movie in so long. I should watch it again. It's like a good nostalgia thing. I guess to make a pun on the name, yeah, that's fair. It's hard to get the perfect speed for this. Without overshooting your speed a little bit. And either going too slow or too fast. Alright, we're getting there. <laughs> Your great-grandfather was 101 when you were four? Holy shit. In 2003? Oh, okay. He served in World War I? That's amazing. I think my grandfather passed away when he was, like, 60-ish or something. He, he didn't live, like, that long. Uh, my grandma was around for a while. Uh, she passed, um... Was it, like, 10 years ago? A little over 10, maybe? Um... But yeah. Your great-grandma passed at 98? Wow. Yeah, like, people in my family don't live that long. But then again, you know, he was like a heavy smoker-drinker kind of thing, so it, it really impacted his lifespan from that. Hey, there's a, there's a Sky Island up here. How do we get up to it? Uh, can I build another track that, like, has a junction? Your great grandma played PS1? Oh my god. Everyone called him Pappy and he was from Appalachia. Nice. Can I just jump and... Yeah, okay. I kind of want to check this out uh, really quick. Oh, it's got a house on it. Perfect. Alright, let's get some clouds. And, uh, let's find out what we get. Hopefully we get the, uh, horseshoe that just negates falling damage. I would like that. Even if it's not the best item, like, this, the Star Fury would be good to have. I would prefer the horseshoe just so I can stop taking falling damage, and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. I should go further back. Uh, nah, it's fine. It's- this is good enough. I only need to get up here for this, and then- oh, we'll- we'll make the- we'll make the thing better. Beautiful. We got the horseshoe. Horseshoe acquired. And we get the sky mill, so we can make, uh, all this furniture and stuff later. But, anyway. Alright, let's get back to it. Wow. Yeah, good luck. I mean, there's only a couple items that can be in there, so you don't have that hard of a chance to get the horseshoe. Yeah, dude, I'm pro-gamer. I knew it was going to be in there. I'm just that good. <laughs> it's fucking noise. <laughs> Gaming moment compilation, dude. Epic moments in gaming, part 70, 103, 2, 1. Three hours of rail placement, yeah. Followed by getting a horseshoe. That's that's the real gamer mode. It's okay, it's 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 a bit of a bit of a pain in the ass now, but it'll be it'll be totally worth it in the future. Um when we can go all the way to the ocean and stuff. I guess I should have made the whole thing, like, I should have stopped at the jungle and then, like, made it the other way, but 
I kind of want this to go across the whole top of the world. And when we get the big gamer game minecart uh, from the mech bosses, we can uh, we can go real fast. And then with wings, we can like fly up to this whenever we need to and just get on it, hop on and off. Uh, so it'll it'll be good. I'll probably finish building it off stream. Um, so that way when we come back, we don't have to sit here and watch this. I'm just doing this to kind of, just to whatever. Uh, I'm gonna finish the stream soon anyways, so. I'm just gonna plop this down and then once we're done, we'll probably call it good. Railroad will let you build up speed for 12 hours? Yeah, exactly. And then we can, uh, we can pass to parallel universes. Would you look at that? Uh, this one has no no fucking thing on it. It's also right in the way, so this is actually a bad thing. Uh, I hate this one. All right. Whoops. Oops. All right, there we go. I still want to stay close to this level because this is where like the islands are visible. So, um, I don't want to go too much lower. I still want to be able to see them if we find any more. Let the water out. Yahoo! Wait, wait, what? Oh, that's it. That's all of our railroad. Uh, so it's it's getting there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let out the water. All right. I mean, I guess if you want me to. All it's gonna do is just fall down. I mean, it's not gonna be special or not. Funny flood go whoosh. This actually might be an infinite water source because of how big it is, but maybe not. No, it's going down. Okay. There you go. Now the water is coming out. Now it's raining, XD. We could also pick up these rain clouds and just put these anywhere and just have rain clouds. What's it flooding? All right. Find out in a second. <laughs> All right, what are we going to be flooding? Let's see. Got real big. We're flooding part of the jungle. Oh god, there's a piranha. Oh god. No! Okay, we're good, we're good. He died. Alright, we'll explore a little jungle. <laughs> Jungle terraform to swamp, yeah. And then, uh, be good. No. Oh god, there's a jellyfish coming after me. I wasn't even paying attention that that was a beehive. Uh, okay, the horn <laughs> the hornet's just fucking out of here. Alright. See you later, dude. Uh, what do we got in this chest? Hermes boots, hey! There we go. Alright, I don't need both of these equipped right now. We can combine them later. You have brought this water and I will use it against you. Yeah, we're flooding, like, the cave entrance and stuff. Um, or one of the entrances down into the jungle. May not go all the way down, but we'll see. Stop it. Traveling merchant's gone. Okay. Well, I didn't have nothing good this time around. 
It'd be nice if they sold the katana. That's not a bad early weapon, and it's an auto-swing sword. Um, like the Masamun, or it's called the Masamun. That blue one from the jungle. Uh, the katana's a nice early game version of that. It does pretty respectable damage, too. It does like 20 or something. So it's, it's really not a bad option. Uh, but I think it's a little expensive uh, if you don't have anything for money. It's like 5 to 10 gold, if not more. Let's see. Um, another Piranha, which is cool. Get rid of him. All right. Well, I guess that's about it for what we can easily access. Uh, we can start bombing through here eventually. Or actually, no, still goes down. Hold on, I spoke too soon. Also, a heart crystal. I don't want to die to this thing. harder to navigate. Funny flood cloud. Uh, Alright, well, that's unfortunate, but that's alright. We have a way into the jungle that seems pretty promising in terms of just going through the jungle and having a lot of, uh, having a lot of room to explore. So, next time we, uh, we play, we can keep going down there and see if we can find any chests or something. So that's everything in a chest. Dump this in there. Don't need the mining potion on me right now. Bombs away. Actually, no, we want to keep those. We'll keep the dynamite. Because that could also come in handy. And yeah, there we go. So, uh, that's some good progress. Eventually, we need to fight a boss and everything, but... I want to get that meteorite to fall. I don't think we saw one fall. Yeah, no, no meteor yet. Uh, hopefully that shows up at some point. But, for now, I think I'm going to save and end the stream. Uh, I've been going for like five and a half hours or so. Six hours. So. Start it up again on Thursday. We'll play some Dwarf Fortress. I'll see if I can get that like zombie apocalypse map thing that uh, Victorian's talking about going. And then we'll play, uh, we'll play super hard map with zombies everywhere. And we'll see how well we can do. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and 